do was it ever um a time where you felt um unsure to get in front of the camera because you were uh thinking like kind of thinking about the opinions of how others would you know feel about you presenting your information or something like that because i remember i had the same um i had the same mindset towards the ancestral plane like i didn't want to be on it didn't want nobody to know i ran it honestly just because my opinions and some of the things that i shared on it was kind of controversial and i'm like i don't want that heat coming back on me you know because right. i was way more radical uh in the beginning than i am now it's more motivation now but it got to a certain point where i just understood the business side of it i understood just like the growth side of it and i was like the brand is bigger than anything. Like right. my personal brand is going to be bigger than the ancestral plan could ever be. And that's when my mindset changed. But what was that moment for you that, that really got you to understand, like you had to get in front of it. The people were asking and mm. that's where I had to put that feeling of imposter syndrome mm. to the side. Right. Because, you know, when for, for me, I'm always thinking there is somebody better. I'm I'm because if I'm still learning, there's clearly things that mm. are above me. Right. But I also had to realize I'm forever going to be a student. So I'm never going to feel ready per se, according to my expectations, but I'm not mm. moving off of my expectations. I'm moving for who I'm serving. Right. Mm. And Though I feel at times, and a lot of people may feel this, where I don't feel like I'm at a level 10, right? But I have to remember whatever level I'm on, there's people that are level one, level two, level three, that need to learn from your level four, five, six, seven, whatever level that you're on. So I look at it more than I don't try to be the expert. I try to show people what I'm learning. I'm trying mm. to show people what I've practiced. I'm trying to give out my different experiences and you guys come along the way. With that, I have no desire to be like, I'm not that typical person that's saying, okay, I learned this, I flip it, I turn into a course and then mm -hmm. I'm trying to sell everybody and, and deem myself as the expert. Nah, I give everything away for free for the most part because I'm learning, mm. right? I've, I've done these steps about 10 times. Now I can teach it here. I tried this. What are we doing? So this is exactly what I'm doing with the AI world right now. There's so many things that's coming out every single week with AI. You think I'm an AI expert? Absolutely not. But mm -hmm. as I'm trying, let's do this. Let's do that. Right. I, I'll go on live. I'll try it out on live and then I'll repurpose that and use it as as content for people. Right. And understand that it's not about being the expert. It's about being present. It's about providing a resource that other people cannot, doesn't have the time to find. I, when I was figuring the, these things out, I always wished there was just one place that I can go and say, Hey, let me learn everything. Mm. If I want to learn everything about social media, let me go to one spot. Let me go. But I had to go all these different places. So I was like, you know what? Let me be that one. Right. Mm. Let me be that one. And so that was my whole goal and mission. And I had to get out of the way of myself, of thinking that I wasn't good enough or maybe people didn't like the New York swag that I give. Maybe some people don't like the blunt side of me or the silly side of me or you know they'll find something wrong i'm not mm. here for everybody i'm here for a selective group and they rock with me and they rock with me heavy and i appreciate them and i'm not focused on what other people are thinking because i'm not here for them god put me on here for a specific group and so I'm going to stay true to that specific group and get out of the way of my own feelings.